What if the key to your deepest self-discovery and healing lies within your own mind waiting to be unlocked? Introduction, 1.5 minutes. The answers you seek are closer than you think. Often we look outward for solutions, searching in the external world for the keys to our problems. But the truth is, the most profound answers lie within us. They reside within the vast landscape of your own mind. Just as a cricket field stretches out with endless possibilities, so too does your mind, filled with untapped potential and hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. Your mind is a powerful tool for healing and growth. It can be as strong and resilient as the bat in your hands, ready to face any challenge that comes your way. With determination and focus, you can harness this power to overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. It holds the potential to unlock your hidden depths and reveal your true self. Just as a bowler releases the ball with precision and intent, you too can release the layers that conceal your true essence allowing your authentic self to shine through. Through the practice of active imagination, you can tap into this potential. Visualization is a powerful technique used by athletes to enhance their performance. By imagining your next move, you prepare your mind and body for success. Similarly, by engaging in active imagination, you can explore the depths of your psyche and unlock new insights. You can embark on a journey of self-discovery. Just as a player experiments with different techniques to find what works best, you too can explore various aspects of yourself, discovering strengths and areas for growth along the way. This journey is not about escaping reality. It's about facing it head on, just as a batsman faces a challenging delivery. It's about embracing the challenges and using them as opportunities for growth and transformation. It's about diving deeper into it. Just as a cricketer dives to make a crucial catch, you too must dive deep into your own experiences, emotions and thoughts. This deep dive allows you to gain a better understanding of yourself and the world around you. Active imagination allows us to confront our fears understand our motivations and connect with our intuition. Just as a batsman reflects on their performance to improve, you too can reflect on your inner world to gain clarity and insight. It's a process of conscious dialogue with our unconscious mind, a realm teeming with wisdom and creativity. Just as a coach guides a player to visualize success, you can guide yourself through the process of active imagination, unlocking the wisdom and creativity that lies within you. This journey of self-discovery and growth is a continuous process, one that requires patience, dedication and an open mind. But the rewards are immense, leading to a deeper understanding of yourself and a more fulfilling life. Active imagination is a powerful tool for self-discovery. It was developed by the renowned psychiatrist Carl Jung. I believed that the unconscious mind is not just a repository of repressed memories. I saw it as a wellspring of creativity and wisdom. Active imagination is a method for accessing this hidden realm. It involves engaging with our imagination in a conscious and directed way. It's about creating a space for our unconscious to speak to us through symbols, images and stories. Active imagination is like a waking dream. It's a state of focused awareness where we allow our imagination to run free. But unlike daydreaming, we don't just passively observe the images that arise. We actively engage with them. We ask questions. We listen to the responses. We enter into dialogue with the characters and symbols that emerge from our unconscious. This process can be challenging. It can also be deeply rewarding. Let me introduce you to Lisa. Lisa is a talented graphic designer. She feels stuck in a rut, both personally and professionally. She longs to break free from her self-imposed limitations. 
However, she struggles with self-doubt and a fear of failure. I've heard about active imagination. I'm intrigued by the possibility of exploring my inner world. I've decided to embark on this journey of self-discovery. I hope to find the key to unlocking my hidden potential. Lisa begins by setting aside some quiet time each day. She finds a comfortable spot where she won't be disturbed. I close my eyes and take a few deep breaths. I try to clear my mind of the day's clutter. At first, Lisa finds it difficult to quiet her thoughts. Her mind races with to-do lists and worries. I feel impatient and frustrated. I start to doubt my ability to do active imagination. Lisa persists. She remembers that starting any new practice takes time and patience. She continues to show up each day for her active imagination sessions. Gradually, I notice a shift. Her mind begins to settle. Images begin to emerge from the darkness. At first, the images are fleeting and indistinct. But as I pay attention, they become clearer and more defined. One day, Lisa finds herself in a dark forest. The air is thick with mystery, and the shadows seem to whisper secrets. She can feel the weight of the unknown pressing down on her shoulders. The trees are tall and imposing, their branches intertwining like the thoughts in her mind. Each step she takes feels like a journey deeper into her own psyche. She feels small and insignificant, like a single thought lost in the vast expanse of her subconscious. The forest seems to stretch endlessly, mirroring the complexity of her inner world. As I walk deeper into the forest, the atmosphere grows thicker and the sounds of the outside world fade away. It's just me and the mysteries that lie ahead. I encounter a series of strange and intriguing characters. Each one seems to hold a piece of the puzzle that is my mind. There's a wise old woman who speaks in riddles, a mischievous trickster who laughs at her fears, and a fearsome dragon that embodies her deepest anxieties. Each character seems to represent a different aspect of Lisa's personality. The wise woman symbolizes her inner wisdom, the trickster her playful side, and the dragon her hidden fears. Welcome to the depths of your mind, Lisa. This is a place where your conscious thoughts and hidden desires intertwine. Let's see what we can uncover. The journey through this forest is a journey through your own soul. Trust the journey, Lisa. Embrace the unknown and let it guide you. Each step brings you closer to understanding yourself. Every encounter, every challenge is a reflection of your inner world. I feel a mix of fear and curiosity. The forest is both terrifying and fascinating, much like the unexplored corners of my mind. What will I discover next? Each turn, each shadow holds the promise of a new revelation. The journey is daunting, but I know it's necessary for my growth. As I continue, I come across a pond. In its still waters, I see my reflection. It's a moment of self-realization, a reminder that this journey is about understanding myself. The wise old woman approaches me. She offers guidance, her words filled with wisdom that resonates deep within me. She tells me that every answer I seek is already within me. The trickster appears next, challenging me with playful riddles and games. Through him I learn to embrace my playful side and not take life too seriously. Finally I face the dragon. It's a terrifying encounter, but as I stand my ground, I realize that my fears are not as insurmountable as they seem. The dragon is a part of me, and by facing it I grow stronger. Emerging from the forest I feel a sense of accomplishment and peace. The journey through the unconscious has been challenging, but it has also been enlightening. I look back at the forest, now with a newfound understanding of myself. The encounters with the unconscious have shown me the depths of my own mind and the strength within me. With confidence I walk away, ready to face the world with the knowledge and strength I've gained. The journey through the unconscious has prepared me for whatever lies ahead. At first, I was really frightened by the dragon. It was so intimidating, breathing fire and blocking my path. But then, I remembered that I am in control of this inner world. Summoning her courage, Lisa decides to confront her fear head on. I asked the dragon, what are you afraid of? The dragon responded, I am afraid of failing. I am afraid of not being good enough. In that moment, Lisa realizes that these fears are actually her own. Embracing the shadow. 
Through active imagination, I begin to understand that these shadow aspects of myself, represented by the dragon, are not to be feared. They are parts of me that need to be acknowledged and integrated. She learns to accept her fear and self-doubt. She realizes that these emotions, while uncomfortable, are also a source of strength and motivation. Lisa's transformation. This chapter delves into the remarkable journey of Lisa, a woman who has embraced the practice of active imagination to transform her life in ways she never thought possible. As I continue to practice active imagination, I find myself connecting deeply with my inner thoughts and emotions. This practice allows me to visualize my goals and dreams vividly, making them feel more attainable and real. I notice a profound shift in my life. The more I engage in this practice, the more I see changes in my daily experiences. It's as if my inner world is reshaping my outer reality. I feel more confident and creative. My mind is brimming with new ideas, and I have the courage to bring them to life. This newfound confidence spills over into every aspect of my life. I am no longer afraid to take risks and pursue my passions. My relationships improve. I find myself more open and honest with the people around me, which strengthens my connections and brings more joy into my life. I am more attuned to my own needs and the needs of others. This heightened awareness helps me to be more compassionate and understanding, fostering deeper and more meaningful relationships. Lisa's journey is a testament to the transformative power of active imagination. Her story shows us that by dedicating time to this practice, we can unlock parts of ourselves that we never knew existed. By confronting her fears and embracing her shadow self, she unlocks her hidden potential and creates a more fulfilling life. Lisa's transformation is not just about personal growth. It's about realizing that we all have the power to change our lives for the better. Her story inspires us to look within, face our fears, and embrace the journey of self-discovery and transformation. Active imagination versus meditation. Active imagination and meditation are both powerful practices for self-discovery. While meditation aims to quiet the mind and cultivate a state of stillness, active imagination encourages us to engage with the images and symbols that arise from our unconscious. Both practices can lead to profound insights and personal growth. They offer different pathways to exploring the inner landscape of our minds. Unlock your potential. Active imagination is a journey of self-discovery. It's a process of uncovering our hidden depths and connecting with our true selves. It's not always easy. It can be challenging and even unsettling at times but it's also incredibly rewarding. If you're ready to embark on this journey, find a quiet space, close your eyes, and let your imagination soar. You might be surprised by what you discover. Unlock your hidden potential. Step into the power of active imagination. Whether you're seeking creative inspiration, guidance on tough decisions, or a deeper understanding of yourself, active imagination can be your guide. Ready to unlock your hidden potential? Start your journey, subscribe now, and let's explore the depths of your mind together. Don't miss out on transforming your life. Don't miss out on.